swim jigs are so popular but depending on the trailer that you choose to put on there you can make it an aggressive bait or more of a finesse bait Swim jigs are so incredibly popular and there are literally tens of thousands of videos on swim jigs. As a matter of fact, I've done quite a few myself. But what I wanted to talk about today is just really how versatile this bait is because it can be looked at as a more of an aggressive bait, power type of a bait. And you can also look at it as a finesse bait and it all has to do with the trailers that we decide to put on them. So that's what I really want to discuss today. But if you want to get some more information on three different types of presentations, I'm gonna link that up at the end of this video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So the first thing I wanna talk about with the swim jig is how we can use it more aggressively to put more sound and vibration. And that is going to use this type of a jig trailer right here. So this is just your traditional ribbed paddle tail. This is a Rage Swimmer. And the reason I say this one is more aggressive is for a couple reasons. One, you've got all these ribs down the side, which give a lot more vibration to the lure. The paddle tail has more vibration to it and kick. And when you put a paddle tail on the swim jig, and you can see it here in the underwater footage, is it has more of a roll from side to side. So the swim jig is less apt to move straight through the water column. It's going to have a little bit more roll to it. So there's a lot more motion, there's a lot more vibration and a lot more sound. And probably overall, this is one of the more popular trailers to put on a swim jig is a paddle tail like this one. Now the second one is a twin tail grub and this is by far and away my favorite. I use this all the time and the reason being is I find I can be more aggressive with this type of a jig trailer or more subtle. Uh, so this one here, when you've got a twin tail like this and with these rage tails on here, I can bring it through the water column very, very slowly and I can really pulse it and just have that dying bait fish type of an action. And that is the way I fish it a whole bunch. Or if I want to burn this a little bit more, I can go ahead and really bring this swim jig back in shallow water across some cover, some emergent weeds or whatever. And with these twin tails, when I bring it back quickly, it really causes quite a commotion. So at this one trailer, I've got multiple options. I can fish it real slow and subtle, or I can use it more of, of kindly think of about like a buzz bait, but not quite up on the surface of the water, but you've got a lot of kick going on here in the back. So that is the second trailer that is very different than using the paddle tail that we showed for the first one. The next trailer is your traditional craw type of a trailer. Now for putting it on this swim jig like this, I would probably go ahead and pop off a little bit of this to make it a little bit bulkier. And with these really big appendages on the craw, I like to think about it as slow rolling the swim jig. Very similar to what you would do when you slow roll a spinner bait. You go ahead and cast it out there, let it get to the bottom and that spinner bait you would just go nice and slow with it and let those blades barely turn. When I put a big craw trailer like this on here, that is the same way I'm gonna think about it. I cast it out there, let it sink down to the bottom, and I'm just really bringing it back nice and slowly, letting these appendages do a lot of kicking. More of a crawfish imitation, but, but like I said, I like to think about it as slow rolling a spinner bait, but I'm kind of slow rolling a swim jig so this is the third trailer that I would use the last trailer is one that you just don't see a whole lot anymore especially outside the Midwest and that is a single tail grub I like to think about this one as the most finesse or the most subtle here in the Midwest especially up and around Wisconsin and Minnesota guys really like to put this single tail 
on their swim jigs. Tom Monsoor has been known to use the single, single tail grub on his swim jig for many, many years. And if you follow the FLW, you know that he's been very, very successful with it. So this has a super enticing action. It's a little bit more compact. You could even pull off just a small part of this if, if you would like. So this one here really has a small amount of water displacement, even though it looks like with this tail kicking around, it just has just a ton of action. It's not nearly as aggressive at, as far as displacement goes as the paddle tail or something like the twin tail grub. But the single tail grub has been an effective trailer for many, many decades. And it's something not a lot of people, like I said, nationwide are throwing. So if you're looking for something a little bit different on your particular body of water, this may be the way that you want to go. Well, I hope that this video and going over these different types of trailers will help you out. Uh, if you really want to investigate more on the swim jig as far as three types of presentations, I would click on this video right here. Um, this is one that I did last fall and it has been very popular with their viewers. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. And hey, don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know what a difference you might make in their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.